Um, today I'm going to be doing a cook along to show you how to make a, a veggie chilli. So I'll show you step by step and give you an insight into the ingredients or possible ingredients that you could use um, to make this chilli and hopefully you can you can cook along at home or watch it at a later date and cook along then. So um, the first step that I always do when we, when we cook is we need to prepare our ingredients. So that includes preparing our vegetables and any herbs and spices that we might be using. So what you'll need to do first of all is you'll need to put your spices that you're going to be using today into um, a small pot. So in this pot here I have a good heap teaspoon of cumin powder, a level teaspoon of chilli powder or cayenne pepper, whichever you prefer, um, a level teaspoon of paprika, smoked paprika is also a nice option to give it a bit more of a smoky flavour, and a level teaspoon of cinnamon and ground coriander. So they go into a little pot ready to use a little bit later on. Um, I've also prepared some vegetables beforehand that we are currently roasting to go into our veggie chilli. So in the oven, we have sweet potato and carrots. So, just grab one out. Just cut those up into nice small ish chunks, and, and you can just sprinkle them with some of the spices and a little bit of oil and roast them in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, if you're using carrot, just make sure they're a little bit bigger, otherwise, they can burn. So, um, after we've weighed out our spices, the next thing we're going to do is prepare our vegetables. So we're going to start with our onion. So those cooking along with me, grab your onion. Okay, so with your onion, um, you always need to leave the root in place. You never cut away the root. That just helps to hold it together when you are slicing. So you need to take off this top part of the onion first so we have two holes when we're cutting the bridge if we're cutting anything in half so the hand goes over the knife or the claw when we're slicing and dicing um, to protect our finger ends so using your claw you're just going to cut off the end of your onion and then peel away the papery layer And then what you should have created there is a nice level edge so you can put it onto your chopping board, hand over in the bridge and then your knife just goes straight through the middle. So you've got two halves of your onion like so. Now how you cut it is up to you. Um, if you like chunky bits of onion in your chilli you can leave them quite chunky alternatively you can cut them up relatively fine so I'm going to show you how to cut them up fine today so on an onion you've got some quite solid lines and they're quite a good knife guide to use okay so with your knife you are going to follow the lines on the onion okay so hand in the bridge again And we're just going to slice. And then turn it the other way, fingers into your claw, and you're just going to dice them. Now I'm going to dice them a little bit chunkier than I would normally. And then repeat oh, with the other half. Yeah, thank you. And if you've got all your ingredients on a plate, you can just pop your onion back onto your plate, ready to cook later. So 
it's a good way to keep everything organized by just putting your ingredients back. Never felt so much okay. pressure cutting an onion. Say that again. Never felt so much pressure cutting an onion before. <laughs> okay, uh, next up is how we doing? We alright? Yeah? Next up is our garlic. So, two cloves of garlic um, in this recipe. Um, we're just going to peel them and then slice them. So, similar to the onion, just take the two ends off your garlic. And then if the skin's a little bit tricky, you can put your knife flat and just press down and that helps to loosen the skin on the garlic. You can just peel that off a little bit easier. She says. You always see chefs doing that, don't you? Using their knife, yeah. crushing the garlic like that. It's easy to peel. Or TV. I know, be a TV show. Well, well you are. I am today. Yeah. <laughs> and then same with the other garlic. And then these can just be roughly sort of sliced. I always get told off my garlic chunks being too chunky. You can slice them and then what you can do if you want them smaller, you can just put, put your knife, keep your knife on your chopping board and you can just move it around diagonally just to chop it up a little bit more. And then again, scoop that up and that's going to go onto your plate. That, uh, onion. Anybody want chilli today? Yeah? You want a bit of extra spice, you can add a fresh chilli into this as well. So, does anyone like chilli? Anyone want chilli? No. No? I love no. spicy. Again with your chilli, we're gonna we're gonna slice this up. If you want to reduce some of the heat, remove the seeds because the seeds are what give it a little bit more spice. So if you really like the spice, keep the seeds. I'm gonna keep the seeds because I like spicy. So again, we're just gonna just slice up our chili. If you want to remove the seeds, it's probably easier to slice it in half lengthways first and then use a teaspoon to just scrape out the seeds. Like I say, if you want if you want more spice, leave the seeds in. It's whatever you prefer. Do you keep the tip? I never know whether to chop off the tip or not. You can use that, yeah. It's not um Doing, that little concentration on your face. Oh, don't want to cry. Again, with your knife, you leave the tip hitting on the chopping board and then your hand on the top, and then you just move it across to chop that up nice and fine. Wash your hands after handling the chili. You touch your eye. Okay. And then the final bit of prep is our peppers. So again. Doesn't matter what colour pepper, whatever you've got in your fridge is fine. With your pepper, 
you can do it one of two ways. Some people, you can push it in. So if you put, push the stalk in with your thumb, and then you can just pull the stalk out. Give it a tap and the seeds, oops, will start to come out. Into your bridge again, slice in half, and then just use your hands just to pull out any seeds that are in there. And the white layer in the pepper, because that's quite bitter, so we want to get rid of that. Alternatively, if you're struggling to do it that way, you can just slice off the top. Lay it level, in half again, and then same, just pull out the insides. And then with your pepper, you just want to cut it up, depending on how sharp your knife is, you might, you can go in skin side, if you've got a nice sharp knife, or if it's a little bit on the blunt, you might want to turn it so the flesh is facing upwards, and just slice it that way. And you want to leave your pepper quite chunky, so reasonable chunks of pepper. And again, once you've done that, back onto your plate with the remainder of your vegetables. Okay, so that's all the prep done. So we can get rid of our rubbish and just tidy up our areas a little bit. And then now we're ready to start cooking. What you can do um, before you start cooking as well, if you want to prepare your beans, so depending on what your beans you've got, you will need to drain them, and I always rinse them, particularly kidney beans, um, so just give them a rinse under the tap to get rid of any of their water that they're in. If you've bought kidney beans that are in chilli sauce, then don't get rid of the sauce. Keep that, okay? Um, and then you might just want to open your tins of chopped tomato ready. Use those. And then we're ready to start. So into your pan. You will need to add about a tablespoon of oil. Any oil is fine. Medium heat, um, and then just heat up your oil a little bit. And when you're ready, you're going to go straight in with the onion, garlic, chilli if you're using it, and the peppers. want to cook this for about five minutes until your onion starts to go glossy and see through um, and your peppers will start to do a similar thing. If it starts to sizzle too much and you notice that your onions are going brown, turn down the heat on your oven because it means it's too high. So just turn that heat down a little bit and then just continue to simmer.
and that's just going to soften those vegetables a little bit, help to caramelise the onions a little bit before we start adding our spices. So that's starting to soften. So to that pan, I can add my spices. So all of your spices are just going to go straight in. And you're going to stir that. So the vegetables, to coat them with all those spices. If you've got it, you can add in a stock cube, a veggie stock cube as well. Um, these just have salt and other seasonings in, it just gives it a little bit more flavour. And just crumble that in. your vegetables are coated with the spices you're going to go in with your chopped tomatoes next a couple of tins of those this serves four people so if you want to reduce the recipe you can just half it so I'm going to use one tin and then again stir that Finally, add our beans. And stir that through. If you notice that it's a bit on the thick side, you can just add a little bit of water to it. Um, lid on, turn the heat right down and you just want to let that reduce for about 25 minutes so it'll cook and simmer enough and kind of flavour itself I suppose um, in about 25 minutes. In the meantime you can just check on your roasted vegetables because they're going to be stirred through at the very end um, once the, once the chilli has so if you've got some tortilla wraps, um, they can be flour or corn, you can make your own tortilla chips to go with this. So it's 
dead easy, just simple cutting them up into pieces. And then you can just brush a baking tray oil and then you can literally just pop on the racks, brush the top with oil a little bit and then if you want any seasoning on there you can, you can add some salt or pepper or paprika whatever you want to sprinkle over and then they just go in the oven for literally about 10 minutes um, I would advise you keep your eye on them because sometimes they can catch and burn so do that the last um, part of the chilli so we've roasted our vegetables um, you don't have to roast them you can just put them in and just cook the chilli for quite a long time but roasting them just allows especially vegetables like sweet potato and carrots to to caramelize and that just gives it a bit of a sweeter flavor so you can then when you're ready just add your roasted vegetables into your pan they've been seasoned as well so they're going to add some more flavour and then stir those through As you, as you like and then you can just test it for seasoning so taste the sauce and then just season with salt and pepper to your taste so a pinch of pepper and a pinch of salt And that is your veggie chilli. And it's really versatile, you can use any beans you've got in the cupboard. Any vegetables that are good for roasting can be used. Um, you can use fresh tomatoes if you want to. So any of anything can be adapted to basically use up whatever you've got in your fridge. Um, and then you can serve that with rice or with tortilla chips like we just made and it's a very healthy, nutritious family meal that's full of fibre, full of protein and full of vitamins and minerals. Um, a nice addition on the top is a little bit of chopped coriander, so when you're ready to serve that, chop up some coriander, you can sprinkle that over the top and you're good to go. That's it. Bon appetit.